Hey, viewers and viewers, this is my name. It's Gentleman Red Strategist, and welcome to a game that Phil has wanted me to play for a while. This is the Forgotten City, isn't that right, Phil? I believe that the uh, yeah, it was, and I believe viewers have recommended it as well. Mm. Um, yeah, it's a very interesting game. It's based off a Skyrim mod. Yeah, uh, so I've heard. Uh, and it's got a very interesting storyline. Yeah. So I've heard as well. Very also, intriguing related stuff. Yeah. Also, Phil's actually sat here in the room with me for this episode. Um, he's not watching via Skype, so... No, no I'm uh, in the same room, room so yeah. we can see, yeah, so we can see what's going on. Indeed. So all I really know about this is it's the Roman Empire. There might be some, like, time shenanigans involved mm -hmm. in it. More than that, I don't really know a whole lot about it. Yeah, so we'll have to see what you think about mm, it. Yeah, but uh, most Skyrim mods have been really good. If it's that good to have wanted its own game off a mod, Indeed. then it must have been a damn good mod. It must have been a very good mod, yeah. Message from the developers, this game is developed by a core team of three people over four years. Your support allows us to continue doing what we love and we are deeply grateful. Well, thank wow. you, devs. Mystery adventure with multiple endings. It rewards thoughtful conversation and exploration, not brute force. Fate of the city is in your hands. Mm. Okay, that's interesting. Yeah. So let's see where we where we started. Indeed. I have oh, the, oh, it's the present day. The present day. Yeah, I, I have seen a bit, uh, a couple of, of walkthroughs, but I haven't seen the whole game. Okay. So. Yeah. Is this our player character? Okay. Uh, nope. <laughs> hey, you're alive. When I dragged you out of the river, I thought you were never gonna wake up. I checked your pockets for ID, a phone maybe. I hope you don't mind. But all I found was some loose change. So, so I stole it. Wanna tell me who you are? Anyway, rummaging through my pockets up here. Oh, I uh, oh select my body type. Oh, is this like a character customizer or something? Okay. okay. So, oh right, so that's male or female. Oh, yeah. Okay. So that's it. Male and that's. Oh yeah, that's female. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, might as well just. So that. Oh, so that's skin tone. tone. Oh, you see. Could go crazy with it, Phil. Could go, yeah. go red. <laughs> Uh, it's not red, it's brown. Brown. Colour blindness, <laughs> blame it on that. Uh, let's go with that one. Why the heck not? Player. Uh, my name is... Ooh, let's think of a funny name. Uh, let's think. General underscore red underscore blue underscore red underscore green underscore yellow blue red. Yeah. Red, red blue. blue red. Red, red blue. blue red blue. Red blue red blue red. There you go. Or, no, actually, in a reference back to... Doki Doki Literature Club. Her glue face. Her glue face with That's the uh, <laughs> thing in E. Save choices and continue. Well, it's nice to meet you. And I'm sorry to pry, but any idea why you were floating down the river? I'm a time traveler. What's the last thing you remember? I just went back to ancient Rome. Searching for ancient ruins, I was on a covert mission, I was on the run from the law, I barely remember anything. Okay, so this sort of choose that type. So if it's our search for ancient ruin, that means we're going to be an archaeologist. Uh, okay. Years of studying history give. Um, Oh, you have a military issue fire but only 10 bullets. I was trying to read that, but you scrolled down. Sorry. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Said years of studying history. Did you occasionally decide to the edge? Well, you fucking twat. Well, you shit at reading right. anyway. <laughs> so that's one. You can become a soldier. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Fugitive. No, I'm not. Oh, uh, he's not doing it now, is he? Well, your time on the run from the horses has made you quick and defeat, and you're 25% faster than sprinting. I mean, your recent head trauma has increased your pain threshold, making you 50% harder to take down. Okay. Uh, so there's some sort of qualities and perks on yeah, this. Yeah. Yes, there is. Ten bullets doesn't seem like much, so no thanks. Um, uh, being a bit of a tank certainly sounds quite interesting. Uh, yeah. Kind of like the idea of having insights. Yeah, so maybe when we uh, go and explore various things, it might give us extra information yeah. that we would know that nobody else would know. Archaeologist. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you're an archaeologist? Then you'll definitely want to hear this. I don't know if it's exactly what you're looking for, right. but there are some ruins just behind you. Roman, I think. I need you to go in there and see if you can find a guy named Al for me. He went in there a few hours ago, and he hasn't come out. Oh, that's never good. I've been freaking <laughs> out, wondering if he's trapped or injured or worse. I would have gone in after him, but he made me promise to stay here, no matter what. There's no way I'm leaving without him. So I'm just kind of stuck here, waiting. I need, what I mean is, I was hoping you wouldn't mind going in there to find I him. don't trust you. If you can do that, I can get both of you back to civilization in my boat. Please? I don't trust you. I think you've got something sketch going on. Might okay. I ask some questions oh, first? Of course. Sorry, I don't mean to be pushy. I just, what do you want to know? 
Yes, um, I need to know all of these questions, in fact. What's your story? Yeah. Oh, there's not much to tell. Feels like I've spent my whole life in a dead-end job with an endless commute. Know what I mean? You're not even going to tell me your name? Yes. Oh, uh, I'd rather not say if it's all the same to you. Okay, why? Spooky, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, yeah. I'd really like to know, especially if I'm going to be helping you, why don't you want to tell me? Mm, really like to know. All right, fine. Sorry if I sounded cagey, it's just that oh. I don't always get the best reactions when I introduce myself. My name's Karen. Well, well that we, we can we can see why, maybe. Yes, yeah, so Karen's <laughs> got the greatest reputation. No, uh, thank you for saving my life. Why do you want me to tell, your na uh, to tell me your name? All those Karen memes have really ruined that <laughs> <her> name. <laughs> yeah. Hell yes. Uh, yeah, something like that. But right now, I have bigger problems, like finding Al. Okay, who's Al? Man? Yeah, who is this He's Al? He's the guy who washed up on the riverbank not long before you did. I thought maybe you two knew each other. I guess not. But maybe the two of you can piece together what you're doing here. In any case, you'll like him, I'm sure. Once you find him, that is. Oh yes, he's, he's vanished. Mm -hmm. yeah, where? Yeah, that's a good question. You really don't remember? Oh. We're Ooh, in Italy. Italy. This river is the type. Oh, makes sense, isn't it? Yes, of course. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah, what do we know about these ruins then? Not much, really. But imagine what you might find in there. Priceless ancient artifacts. Al. Yes, because I've just woken up in a strange environment. The first thing I want to do is go treasure hunting. <laughs> Not find out what the hell's going on. If you try calling for help. What am I? An idiot? You could hike a long, long way in any direction and never find another soul. Trust me. I don't trust you, Karen. What's, so what's giving you reason for concern? Because we're sort of amnesiac, we don't know what, how we're here or anything, and then she's suddenly like, ooh, can you just go into these ruins? And find, find where Al is. This Al. guy who we've never heard of before. <laughs> Bit sketch. That's all the questions I had. Okay. Great. So you're ready to go look for Al? I'm going for the price of artifacts, but I'll keep an eye on him. Uh, sh sure, go Thank on. Thank you. The entrance is just past those columns behind you. Please, hurry. Oh, and he left this here. But I think you'll need it more than I will. Okay. Oh. What do you got for us? A torch? Oh, a flash. Okay, heavy duty battery plan flashlight. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> New main goal. Quid pro quo. Enter the ruins. Use WAS to move. Uh, oh. I got my eye on you, Karen. I know what you're up to. Oh, I just pressed back e. already? What's up? I would have some more questions. Do we have any more questions? Oh, of course. What did you want to know? Oh, no, it's never mind. <laughs> Press uh, escape, I think. Yeah. No, no, never mind. We have to ask something. Who is Al? He's the guy who washed up on the river bank not long skip. before you did. Yeah. I thought maybe, but... Oh, there. Uh, skip, yeah. Uh, that's all the questions Great. I had. There we are. I'll be going. Thanks again. Yeah. Hey, so we've got uh, to go around. The scenery film. So we're on the River Tiber. Yes, the I know it is nice scenery, isn't it? We need to be, Phil. It's a, it's a Mario land. <laughs> so there's a, ooh, there's a sprint, okay. Uh, use that to raise the flashlight. Okay, that makes us so see a bit better. Yes. Yes, torch, that's the proper term. Torches. Oh, there's the ruins up here. I need to enter the ruins and go back in time to ancient Rome to talk to my compatriots. I right. tell them about a strange woman named Karen on banks of the River Tiber. Well, they have no Karen. They search for clues, right? Ooh. Ooh. Look at this place. Yep, yeah, already yeah, figured that out, game. Yeah, well, um, Here we are. Nice. Yeah, there's a lot of ruins. So, it's the present day at the moment, and we're in Italy. Yeah. We've no idea how we got here, hmm. or how we've washed up on the River Tiber. Yeah. Okay. Is there a note here? Oh, okay. If you're reading this, it means I've discovered the entrance to an ancient Roman city hidden deep underground. Its existence is long forgotten. All knowledge of it lost, except in the Latin inscription here. Right. It reads, You who wish to enter the city, step forth and be judged. The virtuous shall be rewarded with eternal life in paradise. The wicked shall find themselves showered in gold, but in vain. For this shall be their final resting place. 
Oh, there we go. Okay. Loading. There we go. Um, oh, oh, yeah. Could yeah. It's loading. <laughs> city have remained a secret for all this time. Hmm. Hmm. Have I? Uh, oh, right. It looks like uh, there's something. People going have this. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that flipped me. I was uh, trying to look at something there. There's only one way to find out. Okay, so Al has found something. If upstairs. I'm not back in an hour, I'm somewhere on the other side. Consider this an invitation or a warning. Al Worth. Okay. A lot implied which reads you were showing to the city. Step forth and be George the Virtuous. Yeah, he said that already. Okay. Interesting. So I guess we just uh, drop down uh, through this oh. hatch. Like so. Ah! Re! Oh, oh, that's a nice hatch. Oh, <laughs> we're back in time. Oh. oh. Hello, hello, hello. We're underwater. Better get out of this thing, haven't we? Okay, so we've, got, we've entered the, the. Right. Secret city. So I've got my torch? Yes, I have. Yeah, it still oh. works, which is good. Yeah. I follow Al's trail. Oh. Sorry, I'm just like looking around the environment, see if there's anything interesting on the wall. Because you know it's, it's like an exploration type game. Yeah, it is, yes. It's, yeah. Yeah, it absolutely is. So take your time and look at things. Oh, got the oh. spooky music. Yeah. You see, the only other game I've played on my channel where it had like the Roman civilization was that Darkest of Days shooter that I did, which was all like time travel. And it had a few couple of sections in Pompeii. Which was a, yeah, it was a decent enough little game. Obviously quite budget, but uh, ooh. Ooh, okay. Golden yeah, statues. Yeah. Hello, hello, hello. Oh. Something moving? There's more sound. Whoa. Oh. The head's following me, isn't it? Yep, it is. Oh, dear. Oh, uh -oh. dear me. Okay. We're being observed, Phil. Who are you? Oh. Is this secretly a horror game, Phil? <laughs> no. Imagine that. Imagine uh, if it jumps out at you. Indeed. Ooh. Yeah, freaks. Yeah, they certainly. Uh, oh. Oh my. Well, I did say the wicked shall be showered in gold, Phil, which makes me suddenly very suspicious of all these gold statues. <laughs> yeah. What, what's going on with them? They, the fact that they're moving yeah, as well. The souls of the condemned, or something. This pool effect, though. All these mosaics. Thanks, man. Ancient Roman mosaic depicting a godlike figure turning a man into gold. Oh, it's so King Midas. <laughs> yes. Oh. A young Roman woman in a pose of a lamentation. Are you going to look at me? Shit. Mm, okay, she looks a bit tortured in her face. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, look at, uh... He's looking at me, definitely. Oh, yeah. You can hear when it makes that sort of. Um, Whoa, a shadow, shadow though. Oh, yeah. That's a good shadow effect, that. Yeah. Clever. <laughs> It's spooky because obviously yeah. the reason it's moving is because of my torch, but it makes it look like there's a ghost or something behind yeah. it. <laughs> and then it's spooky. Mm. Oh. Looking down at me there. Yes, you are. Okay, okay. Very peculiar. Mm. Oh, no jump, that's good. What are you doing over there? Okay, that's one that doesn't look. This one does though, what's it? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> They're watching you. They're watching. Is it watching all right? Yes. Yeah, that's just an examining to see if there's any that I could interact with. Like the one by the pool. Yeah, spooky. I like it. It's got the spooky undertone in the music as yeah. well. Yeah. <laughs> that's a nibble. What's that I can look at? Black, black there. Archaeologists inside. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Oh, because we've got because we're the archaeologists. Yeah. We can see that. I suppose the others won't be able to read that. Indeed. All right. Okay. The many shall suffer for the sin of one. Right. The golden statue. Oh. This is like a fallen suit of armor. At first, I thought, no, but at first I thought, is that more medieval kind of armor? But no, it's it does look like sort of a more ancient kind of design to yeah. it. A Roman gladiator mid stride. What could have made a gladiator flee? Something yeah, it does godly. look like he's fleeing. Yeah, yeah, something really Spooky. weird is going on here. Indeed. The brazier is lit. That's never a good sign. Oh, oh I just okay. <laughs> ran my way through. I knew it. What about you? Okay, is that Latin for summer? Hmm. Probably. No idea. Oh, oh loading. Okay. 
Oh. There's more of them. There'll be some is, more of them, Phil. Some weird ruin, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Yeah, they're all moving still. Oh, Ooh, boy, what a spooky what's, lot. What's, what's with you down here? A young Roman woman looks like she was begging for her life. Hmm. There's some supernatural force going on here. Yeah, there's something people. very peculiar going on here. Yes. Okay. This one one's up uh, above as well, except that one seems to be oh. missing. Unless, it's, oh. Unless that's hers. Jump down, that's a bit of a way to come. Yeah. <laughs> Mind you, if his statue made out of gold. Indeed. No, oh, actually, I'm saying I don't know if she came from that one. Mm. Yeah, some of them are indeed missing. Which is very unsettling. Okay. Oh my goodness, all this is here. We're going into a giant cavern. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, she seems to be... <laughs> seems to be in pain from the looks yeah, of her faces as well. In pain, afraid. Yeah, something's... That kind of thing. Oh, oh a quick save. Nice. <laughs> F9's quick load. It's like RTCW controls. Oh, not everything that's related to RTW, 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 RTC, Libra, W. Return, return Castle to Wolfenstein. Oh, what's that? What's this mark? Castle Return, Wolfenstein 2. Oh. 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 Military commander attempting to scramble away from something. Mm, I thought that was a well destruction as well. Yeah. Complete and utter ruins. Indeed. Looks like he's begging. Oh. Yep. <laughs> Roman legionary in a state of terror. Yeah. So it looks like it. Oh, it's definitely in <laughs> a state of terror now. Yes. Some archaeologists from 21st century Italy has just come and knocked me over. Even though I'm made of gold, yes. King Midas has come and poisoned me <laughs> with his golden touch. Looks like we might be going up there, potentially, Bill, or... That, that looks like an aqueduct there yes. as well. Aqueduct is up to a temple. <laughs> Or a shrine or something. Oh, yeah, another scared person. Yeah. There'll be a lot of these. Oh. Oh. That's some oh. Dang impressive visuals, are there, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. 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 Oh. We're up to there. Roman woman who appears to be praying for help that never came. Yeah. Why am I here? Well, I'm looking for Al. Do you know where Al is? Yeah, what has happened? Al's, well, Al's jumped down here as well and he's <laughs> looking for something, but he seems to have vanished. Yeah. <laughs> and we've got that strange Karen woman. Karen. <laughs> Yeah. Sketchy Karen woman. Yeah, I've got well. That could be the name of this episode. Oh. Why is this one hanging? Ah. Uh. Oh. statue of an old man wearing modern clothing. This must be Al, but how is that possible? Well, okay. that's uh, sinister. Yeah, and he's been turned to gold as well. Yeah. Just, oh, okay. Is there something around here? No, prison. Visible wall. Inscribed stone tablet. To whoever reads this. I'm sorry you had to find me like this. And worse, that you'll suffer the same fate I did. I've spent a lifetime in this place. A lifetime? Going around and around in circles, searching for a way out. The inscription was right. There is no way back. And here there are only two options. Death, or that godforsaken doorway into the past. I made the mistake of stepping through it. I wanted to set things right, and I tried. I really tried. Whatever I did, it took me right back to the beginning. Okay. Don't make the same mistake. Better to end it all now, and find out what awaits you beyond that portal. Hmm. Okay. Right. So, we tried to do something, yeah, yes. and it didn't work out. He tried to save the city? Yeah. From its curse or whatever. <laughs> Curious. So I guess now we go through the portal back in time. So why, why did he carry on doing it and go back to it? Why did he, why did he have to hang himself and not like leave? Yeah. A young Roman woman in a state of panic. Yeah. Just knock you over because I can. Sorry, I will not do that again. <laughs> yes, we can hear you. Yeah. Okay. What a friggin' impressive place. Yeah, I know. You're trying to lure me through a portal? Is that what you intend to do? Because I'm up for it, let's go. Oh. Well, that's the door. Oh. Hello there. <laughs> Hello there. Where's that? To get ancient Egypt. Roman man on his knees is begging his gods for mercy. Plunk. 
There we go. Oh, that's a lot of bones. Shh, whisper, I'm looking at the skeletons. The remains of a human, whoever it was, died a long, long time ago. A bit unsettling that it's all been sort of... The skull skeletons just Broken been... Apart. Yeah, 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 <laughs> scattered a bit. Very weird. Oh, empty lighter. It must be what Al used to light all of these torches. Try okay. and get examine item. Okay. All right. Mm. Okay. What's on there, I guess? Oh, 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 oh. oh. Well, we're off back in time, Phil. Here we go. All the way to ancient Egypt. <laughs> no. Suddenly it's Doctor ancient Who. Greece. Oh, <laughs> ancient yeah. Greece. Ancient Rome. Ancient Greece, ancient Rome. Oh, no, maybe we're going to the Aztecs. Who knows? Oh. Oh, we've got a quest journal now. Oh, good. So we can press tab to have a look at the question and tab. inventory. Right. Tab and inventory. Ooh, enter photo mode. Okay. It might be worth having having a look at the inventory in the yeah. journal just to see Indeed. what what it appears. Oh. Okay. Right. Reason, yeah, we're raising a flashlight. Right. So we're nearly there. Slowly does it. It's just loading in. Through weapons. weapons. Oh, 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 oh. Getting some weapons. <laughs> That's not a good sign. Oh. 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 Ah, I just stepped through the doorway into the past. Okay. I'm probably wearing modern clothing. They're probably going to be like, what the fuck is this guy? Hello, hello, hello. Should we have a look at our journal then? Yes. Before we go any further. Okay, so. See the objective marks are a given quest. Cut the eye. I'll cut beside right. it. Okay. Point of origin is what we're doing at the moment. Travel thousands of years into the past. I'll need to find a way back to my original timeline somehow. Figure out how to return to your original time. Perhaps whoever brought me here can send me back. Okay. okay so that's, uh, that's oh, that's, that's the stuff one we've done. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we did that one. Anything in our inventory? Let's have a look. Oh, okay. Denarius. Hmm. An ancient Roman coin made of silver. Okay. 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 I'm gonna drag it and examine it. Yeah. You see? Oh, we've got a flashlight. Our flashlight. Inscribed stone tablet, which we yeah. picked up before from uh, Al. That's it. Okay. So what do you think? Think? Yeah, that's it. That's all the objective. We've got to figure out how to and then end the game. Yeah. Yes. Well, okay. boy, oh boy, look at ah. this. Holy shit, there's a lot of places to explore, Phil. Yes. Oh, hello. Oh. Hello. Are you a bit this? alarmed by this strange person who's just appeared in front of you? Uh, salve, friend. I'm Galerius. Mind telling me who you are and what you were doing in the Shrine of Proserpina? <laughs> <laughs> I've had a gloop face and I've just come from the future. Wait, are you speaking English? Okay, they're actually acknowledging that. Yeah. Shrine of Proserpia. Uh, I'm heading blue face and I got lost. I could lie if I wanted to. Um, I don't know how they'd react to me yeah, telling them from the future. Good. Shrine of Proserpina? Yeah, you know, agricultural goddess of springtime. You're not from around here, are you? Oh, I see what you did there. Changing the subject like that. Nice try. But I'll ask again. Who are you? And what were you doing in this shrine? <laughs> um, yeah, wait, why are they speaking English? You think yeah. they're speaking Latin? Uh, what? Oh. I'm speaking Latin. You are too, although your accent's a little strange. Uh-oh. And you've just done it again. You're a sly one, aren't you? <laughs> one more time. Who are you and what were you doing in that shrine? Okay, I'm the Hair Face, and I've just come from the future. Uh... No idea what you're talking uh -oh. about. He's going to put me in the Roman loony bin, Phil. Oh, no. Are you what is the thing? Bit, you know, not right in the head. <laughs> That's all right, friend. Everyone's welcome here. Seriously, what's today's date? Yeah, that's it. We sort of lose track of the date down here, but it feels like the beginning of spring to me, so I'd say early March? Or year? It's 817 AUC. Sorry, you look confused. 817 years since the founding of Rome. Which part of the Empire are you from, exactly? Oh my god. No, no. <laughs> right, um, so, uh, so, oh, we get the archaeologist's insight. Ah, uh, so 65 CE. Never mind. Of course I knew that. I don't think we want to lie. Um, Might yeah. it be useful if we express that we are an archaeologist? Yeah, let's try. 65 CE. CE? <laughs> no idea what you're talking about. But listen. Most folks seem a bit confused when they get here, but you, you seem very lost, and in more ways than one. So, let me make this nice and simple for you. Live by our law here, and we'll all get along just fine. Your laws? Not laws, law. 
There's just one, the golden rule, and the punishment for breaking it's death. Well, it's kind of horrific. Yeah, death. <laughs> our magistrate insists we take all newcomers to see him, so I guess I'll let him fill you in. So then, are you coming? Yeah. Let's go to the magistrate. Oh, we make our own way. Oh, oh, oh. Too late. Arrived, a decision has been made. There are people living down here. Tell me to follow your guide. You see, oh, like we've this. Got a nice little community now. Okay. Well, what a strange place. Only 23 of us at the moment, if you count the three who are missing. Oh. Mm -hmm. No idea how, since nobody knows a way out. But it's just big and dark enough to get lost in, if you're not careful. Oh. Hey, lady. Are you going to introduce me to your handsome new oh. friend? Oh. 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 Keep it in your loincloth, Aurelia. I'm taking him to see the magistrate. I see a golden statue yeah, already over there, though. Ball won't be magistrate for much longer. Oh. Anyone who helps vote him out today... Drinks at my bar for free. Oh, I'll come back, I'll be back for you, Aurelia. <laughs> I'd stay clear of it and her if I were you. She's. Uh, it's not my Oh, we've got all these people to go and see as well. And on your right is our farm, where I grow all the food you'll ever want. Okay. As long as all you want is leek, cabbage, and wheat. Huh. That one. You're very still. <laughs> the bloodless shadows wander without flesh or bone. Ah. Don't mind, Livia. She means well. She's just been in a bad place since. Well, you know, I don't know what happened to her. Okay. Up here on your right is the chasm. If you've got a weapon, it belongs way down at the bottom. Up on your left is the forum, where you can visit the market or get yourself patched up in Lucretia's clinic in the Shrine of Apollo. Most of us have almost nothing, just what we had on us when we arrived, and what we've been able to make and scrounge up since. And this central plateau is where the magistrate and the other patricians live. So don't expect a warm welcome. Galerius, you're meant to be working the farm, not trudging dirt into the villas. Take it easy, Horatius. I was just taking our new friend here to see the magistrate. Well, he's asked me to escort the newcomer personally. The farm. Go. Now. You'd better go with him. But just remember, they're not like you and me. Don't let them use you. What was that? What did you just say? Uh, I said it'll take some getting used to. Yeah, uh, no. I'm watching you, farm boy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, you Good are dear, probably not going to be very friendly. Magistrate Sentius asked me to escort you to him personally. Follow me, please. Okay. Uh, okay, sure. I don't think it'll be a good idea to question. <laughs> Follow me. Yeah, uh, let's go. You really need to understand right now is the golden rule. Let me see if I can explain it this way. When I was serving in the Legion, if there was a mutiny brewing in one cohort, the legate in charge wouldn't waste time finding the bad apples among hundreds. They just divided us into groups of ten, made us draw straws, and whoever drew the short straw had to be executed by the other nine. Didn't matter whether he'd done anything wrong. One of us in ten would die for the crimes of the Collective. We call it decimation. If that seems like rough justice to you, you're in for a rude shock. Because the Golden Rule is exactly ten times worse. The Magistrate can explain the rest. He's up these stairs. Thank you, Horatius. Okay, what so you want? interesting. Anything else to talk about? Yeah, that's good. That's a good shout. What now? What's your story? What can you tell me about the Magistrate? Do you know a way out of here? What do you think about the Golden Rule? Uh, okay. What's your story, Horatius? I'm a legionary of the first Italica. God, there's so much good there's so many people to talk here. to and things, yeah. isn't there? Yeah. But the magistrate has assigned me other duties. I act as the magistrate's right hand right. man, keeping an eye on his daughters. Uh, oh. Daughter, I should say. Hmm? And the others. And making sure they're all. Does he have some uh, illegitimate daughters? I also keep a register of new arrivals. Okay. How do you end up here? I'm from Liguria, up north originally. I was doing all right for myself. Twelve years into my service, had a nice girl lined up for when it was all over. Not anymore. She's probably figured I'm long gone and moved on by now. Okay, I'm not to then. think about it. My commander sent me to deliver a message to Rome. While I was there, I thought I'd do something nice for my girl and pick up a little pendant from a silversmith. That's when the crowd started flooding through the streets, shouting fire. People were screaming trampling each other. Then some genetric and future child tried to take advantage of the chaos and pinch my pendant. I remember chasing him through the crowds, down towards the river. 
and then nothing. Blacked out and woke up near here. How no strange. Yeah. Floating so far Sounds down. very familiar. Yeah. But unfortunate to be alive, I suppose. I'm sorry to hear about your ah, thing. Yep. <laughs> the Seneca the Younger said, difficulty strengthen the mind as labor does the body. Okay. That said, Centilla's disappearance has been more difficult than I'd care to admit. Right. Okay, well, can you tell me about the magistrate? Yeah. He's one of the better commanders I've ever had, that's for sure. Good stoic. Lives by Seneca's words. Treat your inferior as you would wish your superior to treat you. Well, Can't ask for much more than okay, that. Okay, that's, yeah, that's a good way of approaching it. Do you know a way out of here? Hmm. Should we see what? Okay. Okay. I went around asking the same questions when I first arrived. Never did find a way out. But I learned how to accept my situation. To bear trials with a calm mind robs misfortune of its strength and burden. That's from Seneca the Younger, if you're interested. Okay. Can I see the citizen register? I don't see why not. Just make sure I get it back by tomorrow. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. You're just going to give me that, are you? Oh, right. <laughs> a summary of each person in the city in alphabetical order. Oh, okay. So we've got all the people here. Okay. So got... Aurelia, Commoner, Tavern Keeper, Tavern and Slum. Claims to know a way out. Apparently, okay. Claudia, Patrician, wife of Meliolus, Central Villa. No notes. Odysseus, Commoner, Merchant, in general, okay. Forum. Notes. Okay. We've got a Domitius, another Commoner, in Meliolus's guard slum. in the slum. Uh, is that Dullius? Dullius, yeah. Commoner, unable to work, slum imprisoned in warehouse. <laughs> uh, Aquitia, Patricia, and Ve uh, Vestal Prince, Priest, yeah. Can't speak all of a sudden, Phil. Vestal Priestess, she's in a lower villa. Uh, Fabia, commoner, baker in the slum. Galerius, who we met, yeah, the farmer. A farmer, a, a farmer in the slum. Got some oh, talk. Oh, what's, what's going on? Maybe he is speaking a different language. Yeah. Foreigner, merchant in clothes in the forum. Okay. Uh, Hannibal, foreigner, forage for scrap, slum, died in the system? Question mark. Mm, Might be something to investigate. Horatius, who we just met, commoner, guard in the slum. Kabash, foreigner, fisherman, slum, has disappeared. Okay. Uh, Julia, Patricia, and debt bondsman to Maliolus, villa in the middle. Olivia, commoner, hairdresser in the slum, now refuses to work. We saw her on the way in. Lucretia, foreigner, nurse in the slum. Uh, Maliolus, patrician, money lending. It says money lending. Money quote, lending. Which yeah, I like that. Yeah. Sounds a bit sketchy. Yeah, which yeah. Co coincides with his notes. Not to be trusted. Yeah. He's in the middle villa. Uh, Navia, commoner, physician. Locked herself in the palace. Don't know where she is quarters-wise, though. Octavia, patrician, cleaning gardening, lower villa. Okay. Uh, Ru Rufius, commoner, patrol, sort of increasingly agitated. Right. Sentia, patrician, pupil, uh, villa in the upper. Restricted her villa for her safety. Sentilla, patrician, pupil, villa upper. Missing. missing. Okay. Okay, Sentius, patrician, oh, straight. Okay. Upper villa. Uh, Ulpius, commoner, dead bondsman to Maliolus. Villa in the middle. Okay. Virgil, common architect in the forum. Oh, no, and that's it. Okay. okay. Interesting. What's reading mode? Oh, that okay. makes it a little bit easier to see. Yeah. Right, okay. makes sense. Right, well, they said we can take it for a day. So. Of course. Just got to remember to give it back to him, Phil. Yes. Think about the golden rule. Well, as I always say, it's kind of like a divine version of the practice of decimation in the Legion by threatening to execute one in ten men. The idea is to ensure order and discipline among everyone, and it works. If you knew you could be executed because your brother-in-arms is planning a mutiny, well, you'd bloody well watch him like hundred-eyed Argus, wouldn't you? Because your only chance of saving yourself is to stop bad things before they happen. Mm -hmm. Makes us all responsible for keeping each other in check. It's brutal, of course, but effective. The Legion wouldn't be the most formidable force in the world without it. Are you saying you're in favour of it? Where from that would consider collective punishment, which is a war crime. Don't know if we necessarily should say that. Because um, he'll probably then ask, where are you from? Which might be an awkward question. Are you saying you're in favour of it? What's done is done. I was forced to execute my brothers in arms, and those memories will always visit me in my sleep. But life is harsh. I've come to accept my lot. As with the golden rule, I don't have any control over it. So railing against it would be like trying to stop the seasons or the tides. As Seneca the Younger wrote, 
True happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. Okay. Not to amuse ourselves with either hopes or fears, <laughs> but to rest satisfied with what we have, which is sufficient. For he that is so wants nothing. Okay, man loves his uh, Seneca the Younger, I see. Okay. Uh, do we say that? <laughs> A bit sort of unsure. Uh, fine, go on, let's say it and see what happens. <laughs> War cry. Isn't that a contradiction in terms? As Cicero said, in times of war, the law falls silent. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. I mean, yeah, our worlds are very different. <laughs> That's precisely mm -hmm. the point. Seems that way. War crimes. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> right, let's talk about something else then. Uh, uh, oh, never yeah. mind. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Horatius. Horatius. Thank you, Horatius. Now, who is this young lady? Oh, another one fresh out of the baths, I take it. The baths, she says. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's talk to you then. Who's this? Oh, I wish Horatius would stop letting barbarians in here. Okay, never mind. What do you want? What's your story? Do you know what I have here? What do you think about the golden rules? This story. I'm Sentia, eldest oh. daughter of the magistrate. But you'd know that if you'd been invited in here and introduced properly. Well, la -da. What are you doing in here? And why are you dressed like that? I'm not from around it. <laughs> Charming. Yeah. <laughs> Probably best to keep a low profile. Really? I'd never have noticed what with your flawless accent, appropriate attire, and impressive mastery of our customs. Now, remind me, why are we having this conversation? Hmm... I don't like you. I'm going. I trust you can see yourself. <laughs> it's, good to, well, it's good to talk to them to get everything yeah, out. Yeah, true. Them. Fine. Let's do that. Yeah. Let's bother her. Oh, look. You're back. How lucky for me. Because you might have what some is it now? Yeah. if we... Yeah, do mm. Ugh, what is it with you people? You heard the rumour right. that my little sister escaped and figure I must know a way out too. Is that it? Well, that's just a stupid rumour. We have no idea what happened to Centilla. I wish you mouth breathers would just... Leave me alone. Damn. <laughs> uh, can I help? I don't know. Can you? Can you tell me how a person could have disappeared from a city with no exits and no crime? Was she snatched away by the harpies? When did you last see her? <sighs> it was three weeks ago. We ate our evening meal together, and I remember she seemed happy. In love. Okay. We went into our rooms. I went to sleep. And when I woke up, she was gone. Okay. That's hmm. it. Where's she gone? Then? She was seeing someone? Uh... I think so, yes. But she was very careful about keeping his identity a secret. Ow! Even from Imagine me. It was Ow. Possibly, oh. yeah. <laughs> uh, why is that? Well, she probably won't know the answer to that, but let's see. Because our father Don't had plans mind. to marry her off, okay. eventually. And even a rumour about her attachment to some mystery man might have ruined those plans. Is it possible her lover was involved? I don't know. But it's been three weeks since she disappeared and he hasn't come forward. That might speak to a guilty conscience. All I know is, whoever he is, he's still here in the city. If he can't escape, then yeah. Sentia, Sentia, Centilla, why your name's also similar. <laughs> okay, sure. Really aren't from here, are you? All Roman women are named after their fathers. I think it's their way of branding us, oh. like cattle to be sold at market. Okay. His family name is Sentius, so I'm Sentia because I'm the eldest, and my little sister is formerly Sentia Minor, but she is affectionately known as Sentilla. You see, Phil. You know, if okay, you have kids, you could be Phileas, and they could be Phileas know, Fog, Philia and Philia Minor. Phileas Fog. Imagine yes. that. <laughs> You look surprisingly relaxed about your sister's yeah, disappearance. Yeah, actually, yeah. She is, yeah. Why? Uh, because I'm on this couch and not pacing about the villa, wasting energy. I hope you're not insinuating I'm somehow pleased with her disappearance. No. No. Just an observation. I think you ooh, <laughs> you could try bluffing her, but I don't know how well that'll go down. Um, just an observation. Are you... Mm, play it safe for now, Phil. Yeah. If you must know, I'm here because my father has forbidden me from leaving the villa. I couldn't bear to lose you too, he says, as if he loves me, and not because he needs at least one daughter he can trade off. Okay, okay. that's all the questions we have. So you'll help me find her? Alright, fine, sure. 
Oh. We'll take on another quest. Yeah. You should probably take a look through her room. It's the one just by the front door. Maybe you'll find something the rest of us missed. Like her used panties. Oh dear. No, no. Oh, that's not what I'm oh, well, maybe we do. Uh, I'll get right on it. Oh, oh. this will prioritise the quest showing its objective markers only. Okay, we'll see what we can do. Thanks. I'd appreciate it. Oh, I'll take the non committal answer. So. Yeah. Oh, oh. What do you think about the golden rule? Yeah. You know, some people say it's the creation of an all seeing god who's watching everything we do. But what kind of an awful, incompetent god would let my sister go missing on his or her watch? True. Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh, fair question, or maybe it's best if you don't go insulting gods just in case. Um, fair question. Did you hear that? Curse you, you coward! Where is my sister? What do you have to say for yourself? Mm -hmm. No response. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> That's what I thought. Oh dear. Well, at least we know blasphemy doesn't break the golden uh -huh. rule. <laughs> that was reckless, but uh, let's see. You know, I've been selecting loads of answers, Phil. What about you? Let's get your choice from Phil. No, no. Um, <laughs> well, yeah, why don't we be a little bit funny this time instead? Well, at least we know blasphemy doesn't break the golden rule. Okay. I'm telling you, this mysterious god of ours has to be asleep on the job. Either that, or, like people are saying, it really is just a children's fable my father is exploiting to frighten us into yeah, behaviour. Yeah, that. <laughs> I suppose we'll find out sooner or later. Hmm, I suppose we will. Can we talk about Centilla? Of course. What have you discovered? Oh. <laughs> yeah, we haven't quite got anything yet, okay. sorry. Yes, please do. Well, at least you uh, said please do instead of something yes. rude. Horatius has disappeared. Right, we need to talk to our magistrate, Phil. Yeah, to find out what's... Uh... Oh, oh, there he is. Excuse Phil. He's here. We're finally alone. I assume you already know who I am. May I know your name? <laughs> I've had a glue face. Oh, yes. A curious name to match a curious accent. But I digress. I see you have the piercing and astute eyes of a man of great learning. He's an archaeologist, yes. We're always happy to welcome another scholar to our little community. Equitia will be delighted to meet you, I'm sure. So we'll meet later then. Now, you're mm -hmm. probably wondering why I summoned you, and I'll get to that. But first... You summoned look us? look at this okay. wondrous place, would you? Yeah. A secret city built deep in the mountains many hundreds of years ago. Okay, it's beautiful. Indeed. More importantly, consider the miraculous community we've built here over the last seven months. Twenty-two complete strangers brought together by the fates, living and working together in our own little paradise. Oh. And in all that time, not a single sin has been committed. No fights, no theft, nothing. Have you ever witnessed something so extraordinary as a city without sin? Can't say I have. Um, yes. Yeah, most cities nowadays are full of crime and everything, yes. so yeah. Nor could I, until I came here. But the reason for this, this miracle, is as simple as it is terrifying. If even one person commits a sin here, every last one of us will die. You see, the builders of this place, whoever they were, left inscriptions warning the many shall suffer for the sins of the one. From what we can gather, breaking the law here will anger the gods and provoke a terrible punishment. Like the curses of Medusa and Midas combined, turning us all to gold. We've come to call it the Golden. It's extraordinary that we've survived as long as we have, and each day I grow more and more afraid that our time in the sun is almost up. Someone might do it at some yes. point. Now it seems that day is finally here. All that matters is that somebody in this city is about to break the golden rule. Why else would Proserpina send you now? Well, we just came for the Unless ball. you and yeah. I can stop them, our doom is assured. I know that's a lot to do, okay. and you so, look like you have questions. Please, 
ask them. So is that what this game is all about? It's about finding out who's going to break the golden rule ah. and see if you can stop them before anything yeah. else? Okay. okay. Interesting. I don't know if the golden rule is even a thing. Yes. Okay. Indeed. What counts as a sin here? Yeah, that's a good question. An intelligent question. There was a good deal of debate about that in our first weeks here. Does it refer to crimes or to some other ill-defined wrong? Of course, everyone agrees on the basics. No theft, no assault, and certainly no murder. But beyond that, it was more difficult to reach a consensus. What about lying, insulting someone, blasphemy, oh, really blasphemy yeah. <laughs> trying to escape, bribery, infidelity, suicide? As magistrate, I had to exercise leadership, and so I made a decision. We must uphold the laws of the Empire to a standard never before seen. And we must honor the peace of the gods, the sacred accord between the gods and the people of Rome. It is only by offering the gods the proper respect that we may prosper, as Rome has for centuries. Mm hmm. What is legal isn't always moral, many of you are also considered barbaric, I'm not yeah. sure that's a good idea. Okay, makes sense to me. I'm glad you agree. The key things to remember are that we have laws forbidding treason and blasphemy, murder, assault and rape, as well as theft and arson and so on. Right, yeah. I have made my pronouncement on the subject. Unfortunately, there are still those here who resist, whispering blasphemous and treasonous lies in the shadows. I would be keeping a close eye on them if I were you. Probably best not to tell him about his daughter blaspheming downstairs. Yeah, there was a bit, wasn't there? <laughs> yeah. What do you mean we sent, Proserpina sent me? You see, in my search for a way to save my people, I learned of an ancient ritual to Proserpina. Proserpina, the it's said to open a doorway in time, so that if the unthinkable happens, one person can pass through it and travel back to the past. Oh, which one we've done. And when I mm. saw you arrive in a flash of light from the goddess's shrine, I knew that person was you. You don't belong in our time, do you? You're right. I'm from 2,000 years in the future. Um, hmm. Sure, <laughs> why the hell not? <laughs> thousand years? That is unfathomable. Please, tell me, in your time, what did you see? Ah. Uh, mm. What had become what do you think you really of want us? To know? Of this city? You've all been to call statues. Yeah. <laughs> or I didn't see anything. Hmm. <laughs> Should we lie to Pete, or should we tell him the actual truth? I'm going to tell him the truth and see what he reacts. I really want to. Let's do it. I have imagined it. Our downfall a thousand times. But it still breaks my heart to hear the truth of it. How does the ritual work? All I can tell you is that it's a ritual sacrifice to Proserpina. I stumbled across instructions. I have to recite a prayer, and of course, as with all rituals, some sacrifice is involved. Usually that means wine or food, or in some cases, a live animal. In this case, the sacrifice is rather more costly. The life of the person performing the ritual. Right. I don't suppose you saw any sign of me in the future? I did see human remains in the temple. Oh yeah, we did, didn't we? Yes. I assume that was me. If I'm forced to perform the ritual, it's going to cost me everything. You'll try to make sure I don't need to use it, won't you? Mm -hmm. uh, I can't really promise it, yeah. yeah. Well, thank you for your candor, I suppose. Okay, why can't you investigate? Well, I believe you're in the best position to go around asking people questions. You're new here, and it'll seem perfectly normal. As for me, well, it pains me to say my attempts to impose order have not earned me many friends. I fear I may not even remain magistrate after today's election. The people here would only treat my curiosity with suspicion. You shouldn't have that problem, though, unless, of course, you get off on the wrong foot. Well, let's try not to, then. Do you have any suspects? Do you ever stare at a problem for so long that you can't see it for what it is anymore? 
What's needed here is a fresh pair of eyes. The less I prejudice the independence of your investigation, the better. Okay, right. that's, that's okay, fine, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know, you're not the person responsible. Do you think it could be related to Centilla's disappearance? Come on, tell me what you really think. Okay. Do we badger him? Uh, should we ask him about what his disappearance? Uh, yes, think for that, maybe. Yeah, could be an idea. You might ask, though, how do you know about that? Um, well, we'll see. Ah. So you know about that already. It's a devastating loss, of course, but that was over three weeks ago, and whatever happened to her, it didn't break the golden rule. So I don't think it's connected with our imminent demise. Still, if you happen to find her and return her to me, I would be eternally grateful. Right, okay. We are eternally grateful, like the little guys in oh, the yeah, story. Oh yeah, story, yeah. <laughs> Okay, um... Oh. God, I'm really tempted, but I don't know how it'll turn out. Okay. <laughs> um... Okay. Well, all right. There are those who wish to vote me out of office so that they can pursue their own misguided political agenda. Right. Frankly, their selfishness and recklessness risk destabilizing the entire city. I would be looking very carefully at them if I were you. Okay. If I do this, will you help me get back to my own time? Yeah. If I understand Persephone's ritual correctly, that problem should take care of itself. Let me see if I can explain. If you manage to prevent the sin that breaks the Golden Rule, I won't need to bring you here. I won't create the portal, and you will never have been able to come here. Okay. Thus, you'll have created a paradox. If this occurs, you should be flung back to your own time, having changed the past for all of us. Makes sense? Okay, yeah, okay. I think so. That's all the questions I had. Right. Tip, these questions will be available later. Oh, okay. Okay. So we need to create a time paradox. So, are you with me? Can I count on you to figure out who's about to break? It's like a detective game then, Phil. Yes. All right, I'm in. Wonderful. Now, I need you to investigate the city, talk to everyone, help them if it'll win their trust. I authorize you to enter private homes and inspect possessions and documents, unless of course you're asked to leave. Figure out who the culprit is, and as soon as you have a name, come back and tell me immediately. All right, get started. Oh, and one last thing, if I were you, I'd start my investigation by visiting Lucretia at the Shrine of Apollo in the Forum. I heard wailing from there not long ago. Seems like something's not right. I'll get right on it. Uh, that'll prioritise it though, but that's, that's fine. Oh, yeah. sweet. I'll see what I can do. So yeah. can... Okay, there we go. So we've got right. things in our quest, have we? Indeed. It looks like we have. So quite a few of them, in fact. Uh, Create a good. time paradox. Yeah, that's going to happen straight away. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, so that will work as well. Okay, that's quid pro quo, which we did before. Active, Active right, okay, yeah, so we've got the point of origin. Create the time paradox. According to centuries, I'll be flung back to my own time if I can create a paradox. Okay, so you need to change history in a way that makes my being in the past impossible. For example, Sentius says, if I, says, if I prevent sin that breaks the golden rule, then he'll never create the portal, and it'll be possible for me to be in the past. Hmm. Okay. Okay, then leads, obviously a vanishing act, to figure out what happened to Centilla, optional search of room. Yeah. Centia did ask me to look through her sister's rooms, so that's good. And dying gas, find out what's distressing Lucretia. Okay. Well, I think that's probably a good time yes. to uh, make that the first episode, so ladies and gentlemen. So the yeah, save game. Here we go. Uh, We're in that one. You save. You save. There we go. Well, thanks for joining me there, Phil. Well, uh, interesting. Interesting indeed. Yeah. Um, I guess uh, we'll do more of this as we try and figure out what the heck's going on in this city. Yeah. What do you What do you think to so far? So it's going to be, by the looks of it, a very sedate uh, kind of game. Yeah. Um, with much exploration, much getting to talk to people, yeah. things like that. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, and I do like the idea of it being like a Roman city, because it's one of those time periods that I don't think I've played a great many games yeah. set in this kind of thing before. So yeah, I'm, I'm up for playing a bit more of this and seeing what the deal Roman is. City. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Well, thanks for joining me then, Phil. I have had some fun. Have you had some fun? I've had some fun. fun. Okay. Have you had the fun? Yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Facebook will the links down below, along with the links to my propaganda channel, uh, in case anyone's interested. If you enjoyed, a link, uh, uh, a like is always appreciated, of course. But other than that, I'm signing off now. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye.
Oh, firing. God damn, am I hitting that tank at all? Probably not. Hey, stop, got it. Oh, amazing, powerful they are, aren't they, ladies and gents? Just watching out. Is they going to shoot at me at some point? Nope. Sorry, do you mind? I going to do that to you. Get out of the tower out of here. Wait. God damn, can't hit it. There's another tank coming. Another panther or something. Not loader. Keep loading. Nice and fast. There we go. There's another one behind it as well. I do love the tank levels in these World War II shooters. It was quite fun. Ah, you know. What's the um, thing that often gets said about tank battles in World War II? 